Hello everybody, this is Vince. So we're here to do a review of Ava Media's uh, Live Gamer HD. Okay, so I got this device because I wanted to do streaming as well as game capture. Um, and having, uh, I was using the Elgato Game Capture HD before they got that streaming feature um, in the end there. Plus, I wanted to record my, not only my console, but my PC gameplay also. So, I was browsing the internet and came across that. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy that. And I gave my Elgato to Jarvis that um, he's going to be recording videos on here. And um, so, I got it, installed it in my gaming PC. And then I was just having problems with not with the um, not with the card itself, but with uh, what is that program called XSplit, where that thing is just taxing on your CPU, man. That thing just mm, even though um, it supports the game, the um, the Ava Media Live Gamer, where the CPU usage is low when I'm running a game, but when you when you start running X split it just sucks up so much CPU power which I'm like okay forget it and I got a second computer first for streaming and it's just a three hundred dollar computer that I, I paid three hundred dollars for it it's a quad core phenom and you know four gigs of RAM terabyte hard drive that's that's it and all it is for is for recording so this is the streaming computer now that I'm recording this on. Okay, so I'm going to open up uh, Rec Central here. Hopefully nothing fails. Alright, so there it is. So this is it here. Um, shows the card that's connected um, there. And this is where you'll find out if there's any updates or any news. You know, and I just looked at this and found out there was a new update. So I did the update before I recorded this. Okay, so you have all your uh, options here. You can go into the folder, and I need to change this because it changed it from the one on the desktop that I have there. But this is where all your stuff will be recorded into. Um, let's see here. Let's start with the capturing. So now you have all these three options. So you have your just amateur if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you just want to just record. And then hit it'll pick everything for you and that's it so you tell it what you want to do and all of these other things here uh, and that's it okay and you hit ready and it's ready to go so I now the newbie one is the same thing same thing mine is a pro because I go into it and I edit all of this um, this is pretty new uh, from the update, the audio bit rate, so I just put it at the highest. I don't care about the file size or anything like that. I got tons of storage. When I say I have tons of storage, guys, I have over 8 terabytes worth of storage on my Drobo. Uh, I don't worry about space. Okay. Um, but if you, for you, you probably want to mess around with it and make it low. But, you know, when you're in this game here where you're doing commentary, you want it to be good. Um, in the end there so uh, so I set my uh, bit rate to the highest because I want the, the highest quality when I'm uploading to YouTube because you know YouTube kind of degrades the quality a little bit uh, so you want the best when you upload 1080p always um, and bef this is pretty new the TS um, I think this is MPEG um, not like MP4 but just MPEG but just MPEG um, or it, it could be it's gonna it's gonna record it in a dot ts file format um, because I know when I record a, a video gameplay or whatever a video from here Adobe Premiere doesn't like the file format out of this so I'm guessing for all the people who use Adobe Premiere they would just go use this one here and hopefully that works but I just stick to the MPEG4 because I just record stop upload to youtube that is it in the end and then it's 30 frames per second because that's what youtube do you don't need anything crazy like that and seeing that i'm recording from an other pc 
so I select that if you want to record your current PC so that your desktop here you can do that or you can do game consoles I um, myself here the way my setup is I just leave it on this and I can unplug the HDMI from my uh, computer and plug in my console into that and boom my console is on there okay so uh, as for my audios or my video sources HDMI my audio is going to be HDMI also I set that up I had to get extra supplies to make that work um, in the end, I had to get an HDMI splitter and then a DVI, a DVI and optical converter to HDMI. So where it takes the DVI video and the and the, the optical audio and combine it into one signal and shoot it through the HDMI, and that's how I'm getting sound from the HDMI to my uh, streaming computer here. Otherwise, man, you're going to have a tough time getting that um, to work. So I wish they did optical audio on the they should have done optical and the analog on the um the capture card itself um so an in and out for optical and an in and out for the um the analog or your your uh, auxiliary okay so now you can have it separate it you can have it uh, where it's just separate uh, separate mp3 for your commentary if you want and you can mess around that i don't like to edit a lot i, I really don't uh, so what i've done is i just uncheck that and i just set it to you know merge the video the, the audios into one and that's kind of what it's doing right now with this video well well i'm not recording i'm using fraps to record what am i talking about <laughs> but you're gonna have to edit your you're gonna in your game settings. You're gonna have to reduce the master volume of your game a little bit and do a couple tests before you start recording. Just to make sure they can hear you and still hear the gameplay, um, audio, you know, the dialogue, the music, all of that stuff. So this, if you wanna just record and upload straight, right after you're done hitting the stop button, um, you wanna do it this way. In the end, there. Okay, so, all right, so you can, I use the hot button. I don't use hot keys. I use the hot button to start and stop. Okay, so we'll hit ready because we have our settings down pack. Um, so this is my gaming computer right now. See, I'm moving the mouse around there, moving both mouse around. There we go. Uh, so th this is my main computer this is what i'm on all the time uh in the end there so here's my origin um account um i need to delete this crap off of here um in the end there but anyways we'll do that later but all you have to do i use you can either just hit record here but i use the hot button i wish i could show you that in the end but it, with the Ava Media Live Gamer, it comes with a little hot button you plug in via USB. And all you have to do is just, it lights up solid red. Um, and once you hit the record button, like I just did right there, then the button starts to pulse. And that's how you know it's recording right now. And of course, you can see on the preview window there that that's pulsing right there, that record button. And then you have your mic input. So I believe if there was no mic there, then it wouldn't have it there. So we'll hit uh, stop there. Hopefully it didn't mess with my audio. But um, and then I have it capturing. We'll close that. We'll go into the folder here and there's the video that we just recorded. So we hit play, and, then, and it's the and button starts to pulse, and, and that's how you know it's fantastic. recording right now. And, um, in and my course, opinion, on the preview and window there, that's a, that's and you can see right we only record a couple button. seconds, and, and then you have your um, mic input. So, so I believe here. if there was no mic there, then so we'll just hit close on that. Streaming capabilities. Now you can set up your your streaming here if you wanted to. Um, I I've used this and it and it works it works um, I haven't been using it a lot I still now that I have 
um, XSplit separate from my gaming computer, everything is fine. 100%, no frame drops, um, everything is wonderful, right? Um, so you guys expect some some streaming to come along. I'm I'm still waiting on the I'm still waiting on the 720p to kick in on my account. Um, in the end there, okay. So you'd set it up the same way here, right? Um, all your settings that you want to do, um, and then it'll ask you to add your your streaming account there too as well. Um, so this is the, this software is pretty good, you know. I wish it was more like um, the Elgato software where, you know, if you're not recording, it's just putting stuff in the background, buffering it pretty much. Because that's sometimes I don't record and then boom, I get some good kills or whatever the case is. And I can't go back. <laughs> it's not like I'm playing like Call of Duty or Halo where I can just save that game in the theater or whatever the case is. Um, but that's that's it guys I, I like this i love this um program this program is awesome um you guys should definitely get this uh in my opinion um you should definitely get this device if you want an internal capture card um if you have i believe if you have like an i7 processor like a 3070 uh, 3070 3770k or something like that unlocked you should easily run xsplit and um well you should easily run xsplit like the the recording and everything like that using this card is not gonna it's probably two percent of your processing power because it's actually just doing all the video encoding off the card itself so it's not using too much of your CPU and you always want to set up a different hard drive for the recordings to go to you don't let's if you're playing off your PC that that is uh, you always want the records to go on a separate hard drive so it's not writing to the hard drive that you're playing your game off of which is bad um, but yeah this is um, this is a long video <laughs> Uh, and yeah, but I like this, uh, the capture card, I like the program that comes with it, they can make a few edits, as I said, I wish they would include optical audio on the card itself, um, other than that, it's, n there's not much, you know, bad things to say about the program at all, I've never had it crashed on me, um, I haven't had it mess up any videos of mine, um, audio out of sync or anything like that, none of that, and if you're recording your 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 commentary separate in a separate mp3 you're not gonna have that problem but i just want to forego that um editing i as i said i don't like editing at all um yeah so mine's separate but um yeah you guys will enjoy the money well spent i spent like 200 dollars on this money well spent uh for my little setup that i have here so i'll put this back on the screen here so this is a setup i use right here so you can see and this is what i use every day every day i record every video you see me put up um that i use this to record yes this is what i used okay um and when you know you've done it right if you're recording from my other com uh, computer or a console is when you hit ready then it puts that screen up there that's how you know you've done it right and this is my home page and uh yeah i'll make another video on this and uh, we'll go into my video manager here but this is all my videos the far cry gameplay is not getting a lot of views but that's okay it, it normally for me it picks up later down the road the video you know will pick up in the end there um so Far Cry is a show, and I have, these are all shows I have. Um, live events is back. I can actually create a live event. I can do a live stream right now. Just, as I said, waiting for the 720p to kick in so I can actually use that. But this is it here. Now I, ha I can record up to four hours, which is awesome. And claiming options like this, so I want to put ads on the, the stream or whatnot. But this is it. So we'll cancel that. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. And um, yeah, go out and get this. I highly recommend it. Sorry if the video was too long, but I had to 
you know, I was I probably was rambling and everything. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys, and we will talk to you later. Peace.